As you are aware of, Brain Surge is my favorite game show, and it's been great to relive it. Well, for the most part. Upon rewatching episodes, I've come to notice that episodes were edited in some way. The reason for this is to fit the 23 minute time slot that is given for a half hour show. The other seven minutes are dedicated to commercials. The early Nick game shows have timers for rounds to explicitly stay under constraints. Examples are Double Dare or Nick Arcade explain the buzzers during the late portions of those rounds. Up to 155, Yellow Team. Move the mic the, again. Never mind on the moving. I get to zip Mikey straight to the goal. We're running out of time. Sudden death is once again upon us. The correct answer to this question will get you 100 points, the goal, and a winner for the game. So hands on the buzzers and listen up. Some other shows tend to avoid constant edits by speeding up their program to equal 23 minutes if they are over the limit. But that's not the case for brain surgeons. Timers are used excessively, and speeding up the footage of such would look suspicious for the viewers. Now you're wondering, what is edited on Brain Surge? Well, I'll tell ya. Commonly, during level one, a bit between the puzzle and its answer reveal is omitted from the broadcast of episodes. Pay attention to these instructions. I'm about to eat a giant hot dog. Try to spot the number on it before I eat it. What was the number on my hot dog? I mean, if you're gonna eat food, it might as well be giant food. Giant head, giant food, it's a match. Well, let's see what the correct answer is. Nine, one, five, zero, two. Let's see who got it right. Paige, Blake, Ebony, and Brandon, very nice. Good job. That's 10 points, way to kick the cums. Four buses are about to pull up to this bus stop. See if you can spot the bus that looks different from the others. Which bus looked different from the others? Let's see what the correct answer is. Ah, number two is the correct answer. Who got it right? All right, Drew. I gotta ask you, Drew. Did you just guess on that one? No, I did not. It says school. Ah. Everyone, everyone else's bus said student. Very nice. Good eyes, Drew. Also, sometimes episodes go right to Jeff explaining the rules instead of showing his headline. Head over to the Brain Center to get started. Let's go! Level one. Hey, guys. My head is so big. How big is it? It's so big that I don't have dreams. I have movies. All right, this first level is full of visual puzzles that are going to test your ability to see things quickly. You're going to use that special game pod you have in front of you to lock in your answers. At the end of this level, the four of you with the most points will advance to level two. Now go down the brain drain. Are we ready? Yeah. I am ready. You're ready. You guys at home are ready. So I'm going to head over to the brain center so we can get this thing started. Level one. I'm ready to kick this thing off with a 10-point puzzle. How about you guys? Well, you can't argue with that. Let's do it. Here it is. Pay attention. But most interestingly, entire puzzles are removed sometimes. This is due to them having nobody answer them correctly, consisting of episodes 120, 121, 126 through 8, 132, and 137. As for level two, these are the most prominent sources of edits. The reason? Parts of stories, let alone list ones, are removed for time. Normally, brain search stories have 20 items per story, but sometimes they're cut down from 20 to 15 or even to 11. These episodes include 
114, 118, 123 to 4, and 141. What makes these edits particularly obvious is that some of the images from the story are not visible when Jeff is showing them, but instead in the knockout round exclusively. Now that I've told you about all the stuff that's edited, I will count down the top five most edited, or should I say, most obviously edited Brain Surge episodes of season one. At the bottom of our top five list, we have episode 113, which we know is the first normal episode of okay. season one. The time edited is about two minutes and 35 seconds. We'll explain why right now. Just as a side note, I want to show the intro because it's the first, uh, first of which that's normal. You guys ready? Yeah! Okay, let's get this party started. I'm gonna head on over to the brain center. Level one. Hey, you guys know what giant heads are good for, right? Catching slime. Now, who wants to get slime? Yeah! Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Arms raised. This first level is full of visual puzzles that are going to test your ability to see things quickly. You're going to use that special game pod in front of you to lock in your answers. At the end of this level, the four of you with the most points are going to advance to level two. All right, now that we've seen that, I'll explain why it's edited. We have only one bit in between the level one puzzles, and that being the 10-point puzzle. What color was the second balloon I dropped? Kaylee, what are you laughing at? I'm so excited. I'm having so much fun. Okay, good. That's a good answer. I like that. Let's see what the correct answer was. Yeah. Correct answer was one. Let's see who got it right. Kendall, Brandon, Kaylee, and Ricky, congratulations. Ten points. Which numbers were on the weights? Let's see what the correct answer is. Seven, eight, seven, three. Let's see who got it right. Kaylee, Ricky, and Bronson, give yourself 20 points. All right, Reese, you still need to get on the board, and I have a feeling you're gonna get on the board right here with this 30-point puzzle. Take a look. Which of these swimsuits was I not wearing before? Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, there it is. And guess what, Reese? Who called it, Reese? Who called it? Who said you were going to get this one right? That's right, this guy. 30 points for everybody. Kelly's the winner. But how many jumps did she do? Let's see what the correct answer is. There she is in the middle in a replay. She gets out to a quick lead, takes that first jump, airs over the second jump, she's working a three-man weave there, gets the fourth one, and guess what? Not only does she win, she caught air four times. Let's see who got it right. Brandon, Kendall, Reese, and Bronson, congratulations. That's 40 points. Check out this ringtone. Which phone does it belong to? Let's see what the correct answer is. Yeah. Oh, boy. It was cell phone one. Who's going to get 50 points? Let's find out. Everybody, but Reese is getting 50 points. It is a really close game, and we are down to our last puzzle for this level. How many monsters were underneath my bed? Let's see what the correct answer is. <laughs> 
Seven. Who got it right? Kendall's the only one that got it right. Kendall, that's 100 points from me to you. Next, we have the interviews, which are condensed pretty weirdly, as I'll show you right now. Let's get to know you guys a little better. We're going to start all the way down there with Kendall. How you doing? I'm doing good. So you're a marathon <laughs> hula hooper. Does that mean you run marathons and hula hoop at the same time? No. Um, I won a contest for hula hooping for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes. OK. Very good. <laughs> Bronson, uh, you play five instruments. Which ones? Yeah, I do. I play guitar, trumpet, uh, the bass guitar, drums, and the keyboard. Brandon, how long have you been uh, ballroom dancing? About four years now. Four years. What's your favorite kind of dancing to do? Latin, cha-cha, samba, all this. Kaylee, your friends call you the peacemaker? Yeah. Explain that. <laughs> well, they always, like, fight about the smallest stuff, and I'm always, like, stuck in the middle, so I'm always the one that's, like, working them together and getting them back. Very nice. All right. Enough chit-chat. You guys ready to play? Yeah. Let's do it. Level two. Thirdly, presumably one item from the story is missing, given how it's supposed to be 20, yet we see only 19. And as I look at the gameplay, it seems that one round is edited out. I'll show you the whole gameplay, and you might be able to see where. Um, a tractor. Tractor. Have a seat. <laughs> Ding means right. Stand back up. Bronson, how about it? A hovercraft. Hovercraft, let's find out. There you go. Brandon. Stilts. Stilts. Not the easiest, but I did it. Kaylee. Rowboat. Rowboat? Yes. Have a seat, let's find out. There it is. Everyone's still in. Over to you, Kendall. Cross country skis. Cross country skis. Go ahead, Bronson. Uh, what is a space shuttle? What is a space shuttle? It's something that flies with jets. There you go. A motorcycle. A motorcycle. Okay, the pressure's on. Jetpack. Jetpack. Because that's how I roll. Kendall. I was running out. Skydive? Skydive. You got it. Woo! Bronson. Tricycle? Tricycle. And why not, right? Why not? Brandon. Horse and buggy. Horse and buggy. That's right. Unicycle. Kaylee's going with a unicycle, and I'll take it. Kendall. Pressure's on. Gonna need an answer. Time is running out. Anything. Throw it out there. Oh, Kendall, have a seat. And hang on. Guys, don't worry. She's gonna be fine. She's a good kid. She'll be fine. Bronson, go ahead. A taxi? A taxi. Who could forget the taxi ride? Brandon. A submarine. Submarine. All right. Kaylee, how about it? A rowboat. A rowboat. Have a seat. Let's find out. Kaylee already said rowboat. Hang on. Only one rowboat. Congratulations, Bronson and Brandon. It's time. And last but not least, after Brandon barely loses, he has to go down the brain drain, but unfortunately, it's cut short. Boom! All right, Brandon, brain drain time! Come on down! <laughs> See you later! Tomorrow! So, yeah, that's 113, everybody. But let's move on to a slightly more edited episode, but in a not-so-obvious way. Fampy Ken will be there to tell ya. Okay, so number four on the list is episode 120 with two minutes and 40 seconds removed. Uh, starting with level one. Um, you'll notice that the 40 point puzzle is actually removed. So here's the 40 point puzzle. I went to the barbershop the other day and got the world's what worst kind of haircut. haircut. Check out the number he shaved into my hair. What was the number he shaved into my hair? All right, let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, 
022766. Let's see who got it right. Athena and Aaron, congratulations. And those 30 points are actually going to put you guys in first place, tied with 50 points apiece. Z and Nick, you guys are tied with 20 points apiece. Danny, you got yourself 10 points. And Timmy still needs to get on the board. All right. <laughs> This is going to be Timmy's puzzle right here, and I know this because it's worth 50 points. Have a look. Yeah, notice how I said 50, not 40, because the 40-point puzzle got edited out because everyone got it wrong. And because of time, they edited it out. Also, speaking of edited stuff, there's no bit in between the 100-pointer. Which exit did the mouse use? Let's see what the correct answer is. 100 points on the line. Yeah, it just cuts. So, next for level 2, um, you'll notice at the beginning of level 2, the music actually changes. Actually starts, not at the beginning, but in like the middle part of the song. So, this indicates that a round was added out, as you can see here. That means we're going to keep doing that until we're down to two players, all right? Are we clear? Cena, we're going to start with you. How many horns did the unicorn have? Two. Have a seat. Let's find out. Very nice. Aaron, what did the court wizard turn the princes into? Frogs. Have a seat. Very nice. All right, Z. King Arthur's throne was shaped like what? Yeah, this is not like the first round. Time's running out. I need an answer. Corn dog. Corn dog. Let's find out. Oh no! Hang on, Z. Yeah, that's not first round music. All right, Danny. Same question to you. King Farther's throne was shaped like what? A toilet. A toilet. Let's find out. No, the music sounds fine. You got it, Danny. Athena pressures on. Dumbalot was guarded by the knights of the wrong... Table? What? Let's find out. Nice job. All right, Aaron. What did I pull out of a log? A sword? Yeah, then you know it's the wacky music. Ooh, no sword, Aaron. Hang on. Although we have wacky music after five questions. The I'm correct answer it. is actually a lance. Athena, Danny, guess what? 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 Time for a knockout round. Knockout round. And then in the knockout round, there's actually some stuff that's added out of this story. Images 9 and 15 are actually not in the story at all. Which I'll just quickly show. So a just magical here. kingdom called Dumb. Remember who sat so royal throne? They got him. The court wizard, moron, the magician, Frog. says Gwyneth. After the entering princess, the, the... Who kidnapped the princess? Dragon. From Jeffster. I even have a... Jeff. I rode into the valley. That land dragon. Oh, but I was... You can see all the images. Yeah, those are in the story, but the... Robin Hood-like character's not in the story. Anyway, 120 has... Two minutes and 40 seconds added out. Let's move on to another aid episode. That's even more aid. The bronze spot on our list goes to episode 130, which has about two and three quarter minutes missing. Well, very similar to 113, most of the puzzle bits are removed. Which fingernail was painted yellow? Let's see what the correct answer is. There it is. It's yellow. And number two, let's see who got it right. The timing paid off for Jules, Tara, and Geo. Nice job. What was the lowest number you saw? Okay, let's find out what the correct answer is. Oh, oh yeah. It was number two, and Valerie seems to like that a lot. Everybody got it right, 30 points. You gotta love that, you gotta love it. Which of these is my taxi? 
All right, let's see what the correct answer is. This is a replay. There it is right there. Just a little side shuffle. That's a legal move in Illinois. But we're not in Illinois, so. And we're around, and it was in position four. Let's see who's getting 50 points. Josh, Valerie, Tara, and Jules, and Gio got 50 points. Congratulations. Which number was in the square I hit? Let's see what the correct answer is for 100 points. It was five. I see some people doing some cheering. Jules is one of them, but who else? Valerie and Tara, congratulations. You got yourself 100 points. As for level two, the story probably does seem condensed, considering that there are a couple of weird jumps here and there. I was so excited when I got my black belt in Taekwondo, I didn't notice I was being followed. Suddenly, I was surrounded by six ninjas. Just then, a green-clad figure appeared and finished off all the other fighters with lightning-fast moves. But most notably, the the round between Hera's elimination and Valerie's is removed. In reality, Valerie was eliminated first while Tara was eliminated second. I'll show you exactly how obvious this flaw is right now. Good. Tara, which martial art did I have a black belt in? Martian art. Uh, um, Martian art? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, oh, no, Tara, hang on. I wish I had a black belt in Martian art. I don't know, but it was Taekwondo. Valerie, what color martial arts belt did I receive at the beginning of the story? Oh, no. <laughs> what? What color martial oh. arts belt did I receive at the beginning of the story? Purple. I'm Purple. Let's find <laughs> out. Have a seat and hang on. Oh, oh no, Valerie, hang on. <laughs> Jules Geo, congratulations. You're moving on. And if that didn't convince you, take a look at the brain drain here. There's only one way. Jules, first question. What planet did I travel to in the story? Mars? Let's have a seat and find out. You got it. Very good. Mallory, yes. <clears throat> what color martial arts belt did I receive at the beginning of the story? Oh, no. <laughs> what? What color martial oh. arts belt did I receive at the beginning of the story? Purple. I'm Purple. Let's find <laughs> out. Have a seat and hang on. Oh, no, Valerie, hang on. <laughs> Tara, which martial art did I have a black belt in? Uh, Martian art. Uh, um. Martian art? I don't know. Let's find out. Uh. Oh, no, Tara, hang on. I wish I had a black belt in Martian art. I don't know, but it was Taekwondo. Jules Geo, congratulations. You're moving on. So, yeah, that's 130. And, of course, this is the episode where Jules makes a big boo-boo. Very aggressive hard steps. So far, so good. No, you missed it. Go back. Jules, Jules, you gotta go back and hit that last one. Oh no, no, quick, 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 quick. All right. Here comes 
the silver medalist. The second to last item on our list is episode 133. Well, this one is one of the two doozies on the list because at least three minutes of footage is missing. First of all, we don't have the bit in between the 40-pointer. How many sheep jumped over the fence? Let's find out what the correct answer is. <sighs> Just like that, my dreams come alive. The correct answer was nine. Let's see who got it right. Everybody's getting 10 points. Woo! Which of these is my taxi? Let's see what the correct answer is. There I am right there. Goes to the illegal lane changing. Luckily, I'm not driving. And I'm going to end up in position two. Oh, let's see who got it right. Sierra and Hunter did. Congratulations. At 30 points to your score. Here's... What was the number on my chest? Let's find out what the correct answer is. <laughs> oh, seagulls, they're like rats with wings. All right, let's see who got it right. Sean, Sydney, Natalie, and Hunter. JT having a little difficulty getting his answer in on time. But that's nothing compared to what we have in level two. For the first time, the interviews are completely missing. Congratulations to the four of you brainiacs for making it to this level! Enough chit chat, let's get to the gameplay! Level two. To add insult to injury, the story is shortened down from 20 items to only 11. You can briefly see one of the images if you look closely. After all this, JT and Sierra's answers are swapped in a similar fashion to that of 118 with a patch and Oscar. Basically, in this round, JT got out in the second round initially, and then Sierra got out in the third round, but they edited it so it looked like JT got out directly after Sierra did. And as a result, only there were nine uh, items that were spoken by the players in the unedited version, but in this one, it shows only six. Here's how it all went down. Greece. Greece. Very good. Sierra. The carnival's a Barnia. Carnival's a Barnia. Oh, no, hang on. Chronicles of Barnia was already said. JT. The Terminator. Terminator. Can you be more specific? The Terminator. <laughs> All right, have a seat and hold on. Oh, JT, hang on. Congratulations, you guys. All right, Cindy, we're starting with you. Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Have a seat and hold on. You got it. Natalie. Kung Pao Chicken. Kung Pao Chicken. Have a seat. You got it. Sierra. The Dork Knight. The Dork Knight. Sit and hold. JT. The Chronicles of Barnia. Chronicles of Barnia. Boom. Back to you, Sydney. Forrest Dump. Forrest Dump. An instant classic. Grease. Grease. Very good. JT. The Terminator. Terminator. Can you be more specific? The Terminator. <laughs> All right, have a seat and hold on. Oh, JT, hang on. Sierra. 
The Chronicles of Barnia. Chronicles of Barnia. Oh, no, hang on! Chronicles of Barnia was already said. Congratulations, you guys. You're moving on. And as a result of this, the brain drain is JT, Sierra, and Natalie, very similar to the previous episode that we talked about. There's only one way out here, and it is down the brain drain. JT, Sierra, Natalie, you guys ready? Come on down! Here goes JT. Sierra, come on down! See you later! Because of these massive edits, Half of the images in the knockout round were not visible when Jeff was telling the story in the broadcast version. All right, now we're about to hit the gold medalist on the list. Drum roll, please. The number one episode for being most edited is none other than episode 123. Want me to explain everything? I will. First of all, Jeff has no tagline, which is common. Let's go! Level one. This first level is full of visual puzzles that are going to test your ability to see things quickly. Second of all is when we really get into interesting things. The bits for the 10-point and 30-point puzzles are missing. Which of these hairdos did I not get at the salon? Let's see who's getting 10 points. Let's see what the correct answer is. Yeah! Yeah, it was three. All right, let's see who got it right. Rain Drew, Rebecca, Caitlin, and Eric, congratulations, you got 10 points. Ryan, shake it off, Ryan. Shake it off. You do the head movement, I'll do the noise. You ready? Go ahead, shake it off. Okay, very good. Which penguin ate the most fish? Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh, disgusting. It was number one. Let's see who got it right. Drew, Ryan, and Caitlin, give yourself 30 points. Nice job. For the 40-point puzzle, instead of removing the bit in between the puzzle and the answer, with the answer being revealed, they show the bit, but not the answer completely absurd. Let me tell you, uh, from one who's been pied in the face a few times, the chocolate cream pie works really well because it's nice and soft. However, Tastes a rhubarb too. pie is fantastic. <laughs> All right, let's see who got it right. Caitlin got it right. Congratulations, that's 40 points. Rain didn't get her answer in on time. Don't worry about it. Thirdly, the interviews for level two are removed just like 133. Brainiacs for making it here to level two. How about it? Nice job. Nice job. Let's get to the gameplay. Level two. And also, like the other episode, only 11 items of the 20 item story are given, and four of those missing items are visible in the knockout round. But here's the biggest doozy of it all. There were five rounds in the gameplay for level two with 13 of the 20 items being listed based on the music. However, it started in the second round but after Eric's elimination went to Ryan in the third round and then Drew in the fourth round. And if you listen closely, Jeff says we're getting deep into the game despite only two items being listed in the broadcast version. And then directly afterwards, Kaylin is eliminated. It's just so outrageous. I want you all to see for yourself right now. Your feet, here we go. Kaylin. Swan Lake Ballerina Dancers. Okay, have a seat. Let's find out. You got it. Eric. Um, the, chick, the chicken guy. The chicken guy. Yeah. Can you be a little more specific? Um, I remember what he was doing. Um, 
I don't know. I guess he was just he was just there. I just saw him. Just, he was there. I just saw the chicken guy. Okay, the chicken guy who was there. Oh, sorry, Eric. Hold on. And just like that, there were three. Ryan, to you. Frog juggler. Frog juggler. There you go. Drew, we're getting deep in the game here. Plate spinner. Plate spinner. Caitlin. The curtain dancer guy. The curtain dancer guy. Have a seat. Let's find out. Oh, no. Hang on, Caitlin. I believe. It was curtain climbing. Ryan, Drew, guess what? It's time for a knockout round. Here we go. Caitlin. Swan Lake ballerina dancers. Okay, have a seat. Let's find out. You got it. Um, the, chick the chicken guy. The chicken guy. Yeah. Can you be a little more specific? Um, I remember what he was doing. Um, I, don't know. I guess he was just—he was just there. I just saw him. Just, he was there. I just saw the chicken guy. Okay, the chicken guy. Who was there? Oh, sorry, Eric. Hold on. And just like that, there were three. Ryan, to you. Frog juggler. Frog juggler. Very good. in the game here. Plate spinner. Plate spinner. Caitlin. The curtain dancer guy. The curtain dancer guy. Have a seat. Let's find out. Oh, no. Hang on, Caitlin. I believe it was curtain climbing. Ryan, Drew, guess what? It's time for a knockout round. And one more thing, there's an awkward cut with uh, Jeff Check. showing the six by six without the statement that it's for Lake Tahoe and the sliming. Awesome job, you've got 21 seconds left and you're faced now with the hardest path of them all, the six by six. Here it is, take a look. All right. Yeah, that's the top five list. I'm sure you were very shocked with everything. I hope that all of this makes sense anyways, presumably to avoid making any more of these tedious, unsettling edits. The crew dropped the 40 point puzzle and the instructions for the levels. I feel that this was a smart decision mainly because all the instructions are the same in each episode. And we tend to see more fun content throughout season two with some exceptions. Thank you for watching this video as well as the Brain Search Discord for identifying what was edited in the episodes and calculating the estimated time. Speaking of our Discord, be sure to check out our ranking videos for all 40 Season 1 episodes. We were inspired by Quentin, joking. Anyways, have a good day.